Hi guys, this is Daniel from FND. In this video, I'm going to show you how to colorize a black and white photo using the open source software called GIMP. So let's get started. We all know that how to convert a color image into a black and white using GIMP. Here I am going to show you how to convert black and white photo to a color photo. So this is the black and white image that I am going to use for this tutorial. Colorizing and portrait requires good passion and you need to spend a lot of time to get better result. There are many different ways to colorize. I am going to show you every single method in this video we are gonna colorize each part separately like her uh, skin tone her lips her uh, hair and the background first we are going to colorize her lips so the first method of col colorizing is by duplicating this layer I'm gonna name this as lips and then go to colors colorify so the I'm gonna colorize the lips to the red colors so I'm choosing this red and click OK so we need only the lip spot red so I'm gonna add layer mask Play mask with black full transparency then grab the brush tool select the foreground color as white here like this and make sure the layer mask is selected and being active brush it over the lips region like this If you feel hard brushing uh, using your brush tool, you can also use path tool and bucket fill tool. Um, I am gonna do this using the path tool. So again I am uh, add layer mask with black full transparency and grabbing the path tool and make the path over her lips and I am gonna um, fill, fill it with using a bucket fill tool with white color. So I'm going to do this now. And making the path into selection. Grabbing the bucket tool and fill it with this white color. Make sure the layer mask is active. So it will also colorize the teeth region. So we need to remove that. Again, I'm gonna use path tool. And making the path into selection and now I'm gonna fill it with the black color so now we colorize the lips region so you can also try this uh, different modes for this lips region by going to and you can also choose color or overlay which one suits for your image I am gonna choose color for this image the second method is to create a new layer with transparency I'm gonna name this as skin tone 
now make the foreground color to skin tone color if you don't know how to choose uh, skin tone color you can choose a reference image and um, like this and you can select the color from her skin tone like um, click on this foreground color box it will get the another window like this here there is a color picker and click this and click anywhere on this skin tone to get the skin tone of this girl so we got the skin tone color and click ok and back to this black and white image and grab the brush tool and brush it over the region of the skin make sure the skin tone layer is active and brush it over the region of the skin now you can also change the blending mode to overlay color and find out which one suits for your image i am gonna use this color but with low opacity and i'm gonna start painting again So now we are done with the skin tone and some part of skin tone color is actually painted on the um, lips region so I'm gonna make the lips region top of the skin tone so that it will gone and now I'm gonna tell the third method so duplicate this layer again and then go to colors colorize so now we are on the hair region so I'm gonna colorize the hair region to yellow color so doing that you need to adjust this hue to 60 by moving the scroller you can see there are many different colors coming there you can choose whatever color you want from here I need yellow color so I am gonna choose the value of 60 on the hue you can also play around the value of hue and saturation and lightness and in this tutorial I am leaving as default I am gonna click ok and add layer mask to this layer with black full transparency and grab the brush tool with full opacity and make sure the layer mask is selected I'm gonna brush over the hair region to get the color So I am brushed over the region of the hair and you can also change this uh, layers blending mode to color overlay and uh, whatever you want but here I am leave it as it is and changing this layer name to hair. And the remaining part is uh, 
the dress and the background so we are done with the three different methods of uh, colorizing uh, image so i'm gonna do this using the previous method creating a new transparent layer and choose the color of your wish i'm choosing this color and brush it over the background region making the blending mode to color or overlay so that's it guys this is the three different method of converting a black and white image into a color image if you know any other method of converting a black and white portrait into color post it in the comment section and you can also try the same method in photoshop as well thanks for watching make sure to subscribe this channel for more game tutorials don't forget to thumbs up this video if you like this video um see you later bye